was on track for the first delivery by the end of the year. The plane, arrival to Boeing 787 Dreamliner, is crucial for future profits. EasyJet has reported a smaller than expected loss for the six months to the end of March. Thanks to tighter controls of its costs, the no-frills British airline also said that it was attracting more business passengers after introducing allocated seating and allowing people to change flights. Chief Executive Carolyn McCall warned there were difficulties forecasting passenger behaviour this summer as in different countries people would be watching the Football World Cup and then deciding their holiday dates based on whether their team is still in the contest. Russia's Gazprom is demanding the equivalent of 1.2 billion euros from Ukraine as prepayment for gas deliveries in June. The state-controlled energy firm wants the cash early next month. The bill ratchets up a dispute over prices. It's pushing the two countries closer to another gas war that could cut supplies to Europe. Kiev, which wants to renegotiate a contract that locks it into buying energy at a very high price, accuses Moscow of using gas as a political tool to punish Ukraine's new leaders for moving closer to the European Union. Ukraine's energy minister says they'll take Gazprom to court if the two sides fail to agree on prices by May 28th. Ukraine's NAFTA gas has confirmed that it's received the bill but declined to comment further. Inflation in Hungary turned negative in April. Consumer prices were minus 0.1% from one year ago, well below expectations, and they were up 0.1% from March. The government said food prices were more moderate than expected, while the cost of household energy, fuel, clothing, and durable goods slipped. Hungary's statistics service declined to call it deflation, pointing out this is just one month's figures, and deflation is prolonged negative inflation. The numbers give the central bank more room to further cut interest rates. How does what they hear affect people's ability to learn and achieve in the classroom? That's coming up on Learning World. This is an ad. An ad tries to tell you what to do. But this app wants you to tell us what to do. Use that power and choose who's in charge. Vote from May the 22nd to May the 25th. European elections, May 2014. Discover a pioneering Forex investment platform from the best FX broker of 2013. FX Pro Super Trader allows you to invest in proven FX strategies and dedicated FX portfolios. Analyze the historical performance of our risk-rated strategies and select one that matches your investment goals. Allocate funds, set your risk controls, and our risk-rated strategies will do the rest. It's that simple. FX Pro. Trade Forex like a pro. Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. Some people say silence is golden, others prefer the whistle while you work approach. But could a combination of both actually be the best bet? We explore how sound can make a difference to learning outcomes. Silence is often used to help concentration and meditation. In Buddhism, for example, it is taught to quiet the mind and purify the soul, and Buddha is reputed to have stayed silent for an entire week. We look at what happened in one Scottish classroom when the teacher imposed periods of mindful calming silence. Noise is emerging as the largest environmental nuisance in Europe, according to the World Health Organization. Studies show that exposure to excessive levels can impair cognitive performance in children. Schools in the UK are responding with silence. At Fetters College in Edinburgh, the pupils swap pads and pens for pillows and blankets, as part of their mindfulness exercises. You can find yourself kind of like going and not really realizing what's happening in the day. It's just you're on autopilot that kind of makes you just stop, think, and 
yeah, feel like, is there anything wrong with you? How do you feel and stuff? My parents think it's really good because um, they know that I'm, I'm like a kind of stressed out person. I get really, I'm, I'm just a big stress pot. I just get really worked up about small things. So um, I think they have actually noticed a big change in me after using them. Originating from Buddhist teachings, mindfulness is just one type of silence technique which has won favour in British schools. It's focusing their attention on the here and now, so they're, they're um, 